Lein hockey jäge jägers died when a chum shot knocked me. It was in December 1852, and it was a particularly stormy December. And there was a ship that had come from Liverpool, the Brig Lily, and she was bound for uh, the west coast of Africa, the Cong as we call the Congo now. And she was laden with uh, cotton, rum, guns, and gunpowder. And she got waylaid by, sort of blown off course by the calf, and she was sort of sheltering in a bit. But after a day or so, she actually sailed through the sound. And uh, because of the storm, she ended up hitting Kitterland. Somebody on land had seen the incident, and this lady, it was a lady from Craig Nation, she ran to go and get help to her brother, in fact and he went down to Port Mary and what they did is they, because obviously there wasn't any boat big enough at the Sound at the time, so they knew there was a better boat down in Port St Mary. So they got a yawl and then they had to bring it up on a cart and a lot of men volunteered to help and basically they brought the boat all the way from Port St Mary up the Sound Road all the way down to the Sound and launched it into, I, can't, I don't know what storm force it was, but there were waves going over Kitterland as well and they managed to rescue eight of the crew. Four of the crew were lost, including the captain. So that was the first part, and that was very, you know, extremely brave by the men of Port St Mary. Of course, all the cargo was insured, I think by Lloyds of London, and uh, they wanted their cargo off the, off the ship. So um, there was a posse of men that were on, on Kitterland and they're about to open the decks to get all the cargo off and bring it back onto the island. They were getting the cargo off the ship when there was an almighty explosion. It, apparently, uh, during the inquest, they said it had been heard by the miners up at uh, Balakorkish or Scollaby Mines, and it was reported to have been heard in Castletown and even in Douglas. It was reported throughout not just the island but throughout Britain in, in the, like the London Illustrated News. There were like illustrations of the explosion. Thirty men that went to help, but one survived. At the time, he wasn't actually that close, but he was knocked off his feet and unconscious. And um, when he came to, he couldn't hear. He was deaf and blind, and he was like washing his face. Apparently, he was it said in the inquest. And he thought it was water, but actually it was blood. And his name was James Kelly. I suppose no one would have heard anything like that ever in their lives before. It would be quite shocking. Now, because of that event, 22 women lost their husbands and 77 children lost their fathers. And it would have had a great impact on this whole area, mainly in Port St. Mary. And skill knee for scarcity and rise.